Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can keep your car configuration over the whole game. So even when you change the level, your car configuration will be the same. So let's go. So we start up with the car itself. This is the basic Satan car that you get with the vehicle template. Nothing special. And the best way to create different cars is the parent and child class system. So you have this car as a parent, you can say, and you use this for every other car. So the good part is every configuration and functionality that you put in this car will copy it to every car that you created out of this. So it's very easy to do this. You go right click, create child group and class. Let's create a sports car, for example. When we open this up, you can see it's still the Sedan but the event graph is empty and the construction script goes to the parent class because the parent class, as you can see, is the car. So every functionality is already copied and we just can replace the mesh itself. So let's choose our sports car here like this. In this case, of course, we have to change the animation class as well. This is not always the case, but in this case of this skeleton mesh, you have a different animation class. Great, so we have a different car right now. Let's place it in the world here, like that. So the next thing that we want to change is, for example, the color of the car so that we can customize this car. Let's keep it very simple. I open up the car here and let's place a box collision in front of the car that we can hit this box collision here and when we hit it, we just will change the color of the car. So on begin overlap, so we can just delete the rest of the event graph. Of course, we have to cast to our third person character in this case. So we go to the mesh, check which material is important. This is the third one here, as you can see. So we say set material of the mesh, put this up here. And we want to change the third, or in this case, the index two, as you can see, zero, one, two. So the two index here. And when we go to here, I already created a second material here. Let's put this right here. So it's pretty easy. When we hit the collision box, we will change the material. Let's see if this works. We hit play, go in front of the car, we will change the material. So the next thing is we want to store this in a global game instance. So a game instance is to store variables over the whole game. So let's create one. We go right click, blueprint class and search for game instance. Choose this, select, let's call this my instance. Open this up and we just need a variable here called car. So the problem is we could be easy and say we do a car object reference. When we compile and save this, you can see it is here, but you can't set this up here. So the problem is when you store the whole car in this game instance, you're not able to get this from another level. So instead of this, we have to create a car structure, you can say. So we go right click, blueprints, structure. So let's call this car underscore structure. Open this up. So we need the mesh. So this will be a skeleton mesh, object reference. And the second one will be the material. The material will be a material interface, object reference. So we can save this and close this. Go back to our instance here and we now choose our car structure and compile and save this. You can see we are able to set the mesh and the material. So we could close this, go back to our sports car. And what we want to do here is we want to set the car in our instance. So we get our game instance, cars to my instance. From the instance, we want to set the car. We go right click, split structure pin, go from the mesh, get the skeleton mesh 
set the car mesh up here, go from the mesh again, get the material, choose the second index as we set up here the material and the return value goes into the core material. So great, we are done here. So we can close this as well. And the very important part is we go to the project settings, maps and modes. On the game instance class, we choose our created instance like this one. And the last part is we have to create a car spawn. So very simple. We say blueprint class, actor, car, Born. open this up. Let's keep this very simple here. Go to the event graph on begin play. We get the game instance cast to my instance here. Take out the default scene road, get the world location. Then we say spawn actor from class, choose our car. So that's the good part about the parent and child class. We can just choose the parent class and will work as well. Split structure pin and we just want to set the location here. We go from the instance, get our car, say right click split structure pin and now we have the car mesh and the car material. So we will spawn a car, but we have to set the mesh and the material from our instance. So you can say we load our configuration. So we go from the return value, want to set the skeleton mesh like this. Uncheck reinit pose, go from the car mesh and set it to the new mesh here. Again, from the mesh, we want to set the material like that, choose again the second one, go from the car material and connect it with the new material. And that's it. So let's go to our second level here, place the car spawn here in the middle of the road, a little bit up here that is able to spawn, go back to our main level here. And when we now hit play, change the material of the car so it's customized. We change the level and it spawns our customized car. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.